So welcome to a quick tip inside of Synfig and the tip is how to simulate a simple 2D camera using the transform tools. Now Synfig does not have a camera tool unfortunately. There is documentation on how you can go about setting up a multiplane camera but it's I mean it's a long process and it's a bit too complicated. So I thought that you know as an animator you might just want to go in and do simple movements like um, pan, tilt, etc, zoom and all that, right? So for that, I recommend using the transform tools. Uh, by the way, you can go out and check out the documentation for the multiplane camera. It's on Synfix website. Um, with that said, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is just right click new layer transform and I'm going to put all of the transforms here. So the translate, the rotate as well as the scale and make sure that you have the translate above all of the other transforms. Okay, uh, now we're, I'm just gonna rename the translate to move because we'll be using this to move the camera. Left, right, up or down, and then I'm going to change the scale to zoom. Okay, so we're, li we're limited to moving, zooming, and rotating, okay? Um, now you might be wondering, let me turn these off, why wouldn't I just use the group? Like, say, let's say this is my scene and I have characters in the, ski, the scene and stuff. Why wouldn't I just um, have everything within the group and then I um, just use these control points here to perform the same actions? Well, the reason why I wouldn't recommend doing that is because that you will be essentially adding more keyframes. Um, a lot of keyframes. So let's say that you have the characters, they have their own keyframes and then you have different props within the scenes. They have their own keyframes and then you go ahead and add camera movements to that folder. Uh, it might get a bit complicated or a bit too clustered, right? And then you might not know which keyframe is which. And then if you want to alter certain keyframes, um, that's when you start running into issues, okay? So I recommend putting the camera movements using the transform tools for the camera, for the camera movements. Okay, so so let me just, uh, with animate turned on, I'm on my move tool. If I wanted to move to the right, let's say, um, from this frame onto frame 48, I'm just going to move this slightly. Let me move it back just to add a keyframe. And then let's say on frame 48, I want it to move all the way over like so. So we have, moving from left to right. And then let's say after it moves from left to right, we want to add a zoom. Uh, so let me just add a keyframe here, right? By just moving that point to add a keyframe and then moving it back. And then let's say I want it to zoom in on frame 96. I'll just go down there and then zoom, right? So what we have here, let me press the preview button. What we have here is a move and then it a zoom okay so if i should preview that camera is moving and then it zooms and of course we can also add rotation to that right so let me just rotate this like so just to add a keyframe and then do that rotation like that right so we have a move a zoom and a rotate now, the cool thing about having them separately is that you can alter any of these independently, right? Without affecting the other. So let's say I just, I want to move the, the rotate um, to where the move, well, close to the move. We want to move it over. So what you can do is just to click on the frames and just move them to where you want them. So as the camera is moving, it will be rotating as well and you can move it into the exact position as the move um, or the zoom depending on what you want right now let's say we messed up and we did a bunch of different um, camera moves here now it's easy to identify what you want to remove so we could just go in and remove the zoom keyframes if we don't want to zoom or if it's move or rotate you can remove those or if you don't want any of those you could just simply turn off each of those layers and you're back to normal, right? Versus having the keyframes on all of these, right? You would pretty much mess up every, 
everything within the scene, right? So I recommend just using these um, simple transforms to perform simple camera movements within Synfig, okay? Well, I hope this tip helped you in some way and uh, hope that Synfig will implement a, an actual camera in future installations. Uh, but until then, yeah, that's it for this tip. And I will see you in the next tutorial or tip. Yo, Tim Hardy.